Cell references are one of the most important concepts in Google Sheets, and there are two different types that you need to know about, relative references and absolute references. Let's start with relative. Relative references are the default type of reference. They are probably the one that you're going to use the most often. In this example, I want to know the amount of money spent on food items, and to do this, I'll need to multiply the values in these cells. I'll just enter my formula here. Start by typing the equal sign, and then the formula will be B4 times C4. When you're done, press Enter on your keyboard. Now, if I use the fill handle to copy this formula to all of the cells, you can see that in each one, the cell references are actually going to be different. So we have B5, B6, B7, and so on. That's because these are relative references. When we enter the references in the original formula, what the spreadsheet actually sees is just the location relative to the cell that contains the formula. So in this case, it's looking at the cells to the left of our current location. And that happens to be cells B4 and C4. Each copy is also looking at the cells to the left of the formula. This technique is really useful because it means we can copy the formula, as we did here, and the cell references will sort of move along with it. That doesn't mean the references have to be in the same row, like they are in this example. They could be anywhere in the sheet. It just means that when the formula is copied to a different cell, the references will move along with the formula. There may be times when you don't want the cell reference to change. In this example, we have a list of catering expenses, and we want to find the total spent on each item. So for the first one, we know we spent $44.85. But what is the total including the tax rate? We can find the answer by multiplying. I'll type the equal sign, then B4 times C4 times E2. Then I'll use the fill handle to copy the formula to the rest of these cells. But wait a minute, that doesn't look right. The first one's correct because it's multiplying by E2, which is our tax rate. But as we go down the list, we can see that the cell reference is moving into these cells, which isn't what we want. We want it to stay frozen on E2 for all of these formulas. And to do that, we'll need to use an absolute reference. Absolute references will have a dollar sign placed before the column and the row, which will keep them from changing no matter where you copy the formula to. You may also see mixed references that only lock the row or the column when copied although these are a bit less common. We can go back to our example and add dollar signs before the column and the row to make E2 an absolute reference. Now if we copy the formula to the rest of the list, the error goes away and we're left with the correct sales tax. The relative reference is different in each cell, but the E2 reference, our absolute reference, stays the same. As you can see, the type of reference that you use can have a big impact on your formula. So whenever you're creating one, just ask yourself, do you want to use a relative reference, an absolute reference, or both? GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.